Hi, my name is Seth Alvo and I've been working in the field of car audio and mobile electronics for over eight years. I've installed everything from navigation systems to full car stereo systems, remote starters, alarms, and beyond. To learn more, visit our website at www.movingon.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my knowledge on car audio and mobile electronics. Most car amplifiers are powered by a wire that hooks up to the car's battery and runs to the back of the car. This wire is protected by a fuse that's usually 6 to 10 inches from the car battery. If your car stereo system stops working, the first thing you should check is this fuse. To check the fuse, simply look at it and check to see that the little connection in the middle is blown. By looking at it, you should be able to tell this. It should be a little bit black in color and the connection should be broken. By breaking the connection, it has pretty much protected the circuit by disabling it. To change the fuse, you're going to have to remove the clear plastic cover and you're going to have to loosen the fuse. Most of these fuses can be changed by hand, but increasingly, these fuses are secured with Allen keys. Take an Allen key and loosen the fuse and remove it. Then you should check to see why the fuse blew. You may also want to take a multimeter and check the car side of the fuse for a ground. If it's grounded out and you put a fuse back in, it's just going to pop again. Replacing a fuse with a higher amperage fuse to avoid the fuse blowing again is bad practice. A 30 amp fuse is meant to protect the 30 amp circuit. If you put a 50 amp fuse in, now it's going to take 50 amps to blow that circuit. So most likely the devices are going to burn out before the fuse blows. Once you've properly inserted a new fuse, you can tighten the Allen keys back up, put the cover back on, and test your system again. If the fuse pops again, then that's going to warrant some more troubleshooting. If not, you're good to go. Music